<gasps> I've seen lots of different ways in which you zero. Ryan from Highland Outdoors is using an ice cube. What do you use and what's available from Scott Country? So available to, to buy is these things called firma pads. Now these are just an individual little square you can stick on your board and that'll give you a different temperature detection between something that's ambient temperature and that'll highlight as a, a good indication to be able to zero onto. Other sorts of target ranges, again, you can have a full fox that's in that material, but again, very expensive. And the idea of them firma pads is to, I like a punch repair kit basically, and you can put them on there. Or I use a small piece of electrical insulation tape, it's silver foil tape, it's sticky back. I just cut an inch square of that and bang that on a bit of plywood. And that's what I use for my zero target. I've seen people use the hand warming heat pads. You can stick them, stick them onto the board and use them. But again, that's a big square. And with that being really hot, that gives you quite a bit of flare in a uh, thermal site. So you can't really get a distinctive, accurate shot onto it. But as far as zeroing 100 meters, for example, that's not a problem with using just one of your tape clips? No, tape absolutely tape. not. And I use that at 200 as well. That's easy to do. Another, another method as well is using something like a, a ballistic app software, which will give you your point blank zero, which could be, if you want to zero at 200 yards, that could be set at, say you zero at 50, 58 or 54 yards. So you do your near zero, and then you can confirm it at your far zero. So if you can't, you can't see that far out, you can use the two zero distances to get your accurate on first rounds. <gasps>